A girl named Moira plays the violin. When the grandfather clock chimes, she decides to jump off the balcony. She leaves cryptic messages behind in a notebook and on the wall. Juliet and Vivian Lower are twin sisters who play classical music. Although both are talented, Vivian is a prodigy. Juliet, a shy introvert, shuts herself in her room to practice the piano. Suddenly, Vivian enters and asks where her music sheet is. Juliet doesn't know where it is, so Vivian borrows her headphones instead. Heading to the living room, Juliet meets the friends of her parents. Mike congratulates her for getting into Juilliard, but Juliet tells him it's actually Vivian he's thinking about. David, her father, butts in and tells Mike that Juliet is taking a gap year to consider her options. Juliet smiles at him in approval. Mike redirects the conversation, but says that not everyone's dreams come true. What a rude AF grown man. The mother reveals Juliet and Vivian are in their last year at Lindbergh Academy of the Arts, the boarding school where the girl jumped off the balcony. Juliet tells Mike she doesn't really know the girl. David tells Juliet to prepare her things for tomorrow's trip to get rid of the awkwardness. Arriving at the boarding school, Vivian runs to Max and kisses him. David teasingly complains that the car will unload itself. He then comforts Juliet for not getting into Juilliard. Juliet discovers her mom and dad's gift for her in her room. A shirt with a motivational quote. Hearing the laughter from outside, Juliet locks her room. Later, Gordon announces they'll be holding auditions to replace Moira in the music showcase. She tells everyone to submit their repertoire to Dr. Kask. Juliet, Vivian, Max, and Alexis talk about the suddenness of the audition. Alexis calls Moira a freak because she never talked to anyone. At the same time, she stayed on campus and carved cryptic messages on the wall. Vivian thinks the audition is an opportunity. Meanwhile, Max and Alexis praise Vivian's musical talents that allowed her to enter Juilliard. Later in the library, Vivian asks if Juliet will change her piece. However, Juliet says it's too late, and their teacher, Roger, won't let her do it anyway. Vivian urges Juliet to speak her mind to Roger, teasing him about his disfigured hand. As Vivian leaves, Juliet discovers Moira's notebook. Juliet practices the piano with Roger's instruction. She then tells him she wants to change her piece, copying Vivian's piece. Roger tells her to stick to Mozart. Juliet leaves the practice room deflated. She watches from outside as Cask instructs Vivian's playing. When Cask leaves the room, Juliet hurriedly writes and gives her piece to him. Later that evening, Juliet practices the same piece as her sister. She leaves the room and suddenly hears a violin playing. Following the source, she enters Moira's room, but the playing suddenly stops. She eventually discovers a sun symbol etched on the wall similar to the one on the notebook she found. Juliet discovers the notebook is a music sheet, so she starts playing it. Suddenly, Juliet sees Cask in the reflection behind her. Cask reveals the piece is Tartini's Devil's Trill. He then says Vivian is unaware that Juliet is playing the same piece. Embarrassed, Juliet pleads with Cask not to tell Vivian. Cask simply wishes her the best of luck and leaves. Looking through the notebook, Juliet discovers a torn page. In the morning, Juliet is woken up by Vivian knocking urgently at her door, telling her they'll be late for the audition. She sees Juliet having her period, and this makes Juliet panic. Feeling sympathy for her sister, Vivian comforts Juliet, telling her to focus on the audition. The two head into the audition. Juliet tries to speak to Vivian, who is absorbed in the performance and dismisses her. Juliet goes to the restroom and takes several pills. She returns after Vivian's performance and plays the same piece. This naturally shocked Vivian. However, while Juliet plays the piece, she suddenly wakes up in the hallway leading to Moira's room. She enters the room and sees a vision of herself on stage, taking in the audience's applause. Juliet begins to cry. Juliet gets woken up by Gordon since she apparently passed out mid-performance. She then notices the first image on the notebook has three balls in the hand, corresponding with the tablet she took. In class, Vivian gives Juliet a drawing of a middle finger while their professor compliments Juliet's performance. Juliet apologizes to Vivian, who accuses her of embarrassing herself and appearing jealous. Juliet learns Vivian got in and becomes distraught. Juliet meets Roger, who suggests managing her expectations and considering accompanist roles. Upset, Juliet claims she's sacrificed too much and accuses Roger of favoring Vivian. Admitting it, Juliet deems Roger a terrible teacher, who says she's outgrown him. Roger suggests Juliet explore other schools, but she insults him, calling him a drunken failed pianist who didn't choose to teach. In response, Roger slaps her. Roger gets suspended, and Juliet requests she is assigned to the prestigious Dr. Cask. Juliet finds bloody tampons on her shelf and confronts Vivian, who declares them even. Juliet tells Vivian she's assigned to Cask, Vivian's teacher, and congratulates her before leaving. Juliet takes pills and nervously awaits Cask. 
Upon arrival, he instructs her to play a chromatic scale from B-flat and a first movement, prompting Juliet to perform Mozart. Cask requests Saint Saints, her audition piece, and asks if it was just a ploy to irritate her sister. Cask asks Juliet why she decided to change her piece. Juliet hesitates, smiles, and tells him she doesn't know. Cask reiterates his question, prompting Juliet to answer honestly that she wants to beat her sister. However, Cask tells her Vivian's technique is no better than hers. Juliet scoffs, prompting Cask to inquire why she thinks Vivian is so special. Cask tells her that Vivian plays like the devil is at the door. Juliet inquires about how Moira beat Vivian the first time around. Cask tells Juliet that Moira played like the devil was in the room. He then tells her that music is a blood sport and that Juliet shouldn't let anything get in her way, not even Vivian. Cask leaves. Juliet reads Moira's notebook at night and notices the glowing sun illustration. Receiving a text from her dad about Da Vinci, she recalls his ambidexterity. She reveals Moira's hidden messages using a mirror, but the last page is ripped. Juliet gets woken up by messages on her phone. Suddenly, her cabinet starts glowing yellow. As she opens it, she sees Moira's deformed head in the mirror. Awoken by Max's texts, Juliet hesitates to attend the senior party, claiming Vivian wouldn't want her there. Max insists, calls her a rebel, and persuades her to take drugs. Juliet experiences the party while high. Juliet finds a nearby cave and overhears Vivian in a phone conversation about cutting ties with someone she's cheating with. Suddenly, Max arrives and finds Juliet, who vomits. Later, Max and Juliet talk about why they started playing music. Max compliments Juliet's audition, prompting her to share that she found Moira's notebook. Juliet tells him that the notebook seems like it's trying to help her. The conversation steers into Max's relationship with Vivian because he's leaving soon. He then tells her she knows how it goes, but Juliet claims she has never been kissed. Suddenly, Vivian arrives and confronts them. Juliet tries to explain herself, but Vivian pushes her. Annoyed, Juliet pushes back, knocking Vivian to the ground. Suddenly, Juliet sprints into the cave and gets distracted by a bright yellow light, resembling the sun from Moira's notebook. Vivian tries following her, asking her to stop, but she falls off a cliff. Max finds her and quickly calls an ambulance. Juliet runs away and wakes up in her room with her desk full of scribbles. Not remembering anything, Juliet asks Alexis. He explains that Juliet told them what happened. Suddenly, Juliet gets called to Principal Gordon's office. On the way there, she sees Max and Vivian sitting on the bench, but Vivian acts coldly toward her. In the office, Juliet learns Vivian must take a break from the piano for six months due to her broken arms. Max and Vivian will also be suspended for messing around outside the school grounds. Unaware that Juliet was there too, Gordon informs her that, having mastered the Saint Saints, she can fill in for Vivian in the showcase, as there's no time to change the repertoire. Vivian learns of the news and walks out. Cass congratulates Juliet, but she worries Vivian won't forgive her. Regardless, Cask says she accepted the opportunity. While Juliet expresses gratitude, Cask points out her dirty shoes. At night, Juliet approaches Vivian's door but finds her weeping on the balcony. Vivian shares that doctors fear she may never play as before. Juliet denies causing her injury. Additionally, Juliet confronts Vivian about cheating on Max. Accusing Juliet of intentionally letting her fall, Vivian declares she's done supporting Juliet and storms off. Juliet reads about Moira and discovers that Moira's mother had fallen off a ski lift and lapsed into a coma while her father had set fire to their house and himself. Later, Juliet meets with Max and tells him that everything happening in Moira's notebook is happening to her. However, Max puts things logically and tells Juliet she's just freaking out because the concert is nearing. Juliet reveals Vivian's infidelity to Max, leading to their breakup. Focusing on practice, Juliet suffers a fall when her chair breaks, hitting her head on the piano. Cask assists her, providing his number and offering help whenever needed. Juliet tells him it's their birthday tomorrow, asking Cask if he's free. Juliet wanders into Moira's room and places her head on the balcony window. She sees visions of Moira jumping off. Suddenly, Max arrives and asks her if she's okay. Juliet breaks into tears and hugs Max, who tells her Vivian and he broke up. Juliet kisses him, and they sleep together. Realizing what he's done, Max regretfully leaves. The following night, Juliet, Vivian, and their parents celebrate their birthday, along with Cask. Suddenly, the conversation steers in a tense direction as the mother asks Cask if there's a future for classical music since the primary audience is aging. Cask reasons that as long as there's someone listening, classical music will live on, citing Tartini's 300-year-old song, The Devil's Trill. Vivian becomes angry and spills food on Cask. She storms off. At the parking lot, the mother apologizes to Cask. Meanwhile, David realizes he lost the valet ticket, prompting Cask to volunteer to drive Juliet to school. 
Juliet tries to reach out to Max, who sternly tells her that he needs more time to figure things out, apologizing for last night's event. At Cask's place, he attempts to boost Juliet's confidence for the big performance. However, she misinterprets this and kisses him. After Cask rejects her advances, Juliet confronts Cask about his secret affair with Vivian. Juliet found out about it when she got Cask's number. Juliet learns that Cask is in love with Vivian and keeps calling her despite their breakup. She taunts Cask, comparing him to Roger, but Cask counters that many greats never attended school. He asserts that Juliet may never achieve the same greatness as her admired composers. Juliet angrily burns Cask's conducting trophy. He yells at her, telling her to get out. When she arrives in her room, Juliet finds that all the illustrations in Moira's notebook have happened to her. The last event is on the torn page, leaving Juliet clueless about her next fate. Juliet then closes her eyes and begins drawing something on the empty page. She opens the notebook against the mirror and sees the drawing of a woman jumping off a high place. Juliet burns the notebook and gets a panic attack. She wakes up and heads straight to the event. She learns that Cass called in sick and won't be able to attend. Juliet texts Max and prepares a hot bath near her mirror. Vivian appears, confronting Juliet about the situation with Max, and recalls helping her during a second-grade bad performance. Vivian tells Juliet that no matter what she does on stage, the Juilliard scouts won't notice her because they're not there. She tells Juliet she'll stay mediocre. Angry, Juliet dips her hand in the boiling water. She takes several pills, remembers what Cask told her, and heads to the stage. Gordon wishes her good luck. On stage, Juliet freezes, gets a panic attack, leaves, and locks herself in her room. Suddenly, a bright yellow light appears before her, showing her the exit sign. Juliet climbs up the stairs toward the rooftop. Suddenly, she sees the yellow light again and realizes she has been playing the piece all along on stage. A thunderous applause ensues. Juliet then sees the ground and smiles. She's fallen from the rooftop, landing on the school monument. At least she died thinking she accomplished something. The sad thing is people go about their day ignoring the dead body on the monument. What a trip. This is why you don't create such a hostile and competitive environment for your children. Have you guys ever suffered from such pressures? Subscribe for more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like. It really helps the channel.